Hi guys, this is your girl Vaughn, aka Blended Beauty. Welcome to my channel. And if you are not subscribed, go ahead, tap, hit, or smash that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. While you're there, go ahead and select that bell so you will be notified when I upload a new video. Also give this video the thumbs up. Alright guys, I am so sorry for getting this out so late, but we are about to open up my Boxy Charm Boxy Lux for the month of September. If you are not familiar with Boxy Charm, it is a monthly subscription for $21 a month. You will receive four to five full products. Once you are a regular charmer, you can upgrade to the Boxy Lux, which is this box here for an additional $28.99 for a total of $49.99. Boxy Lux comes out every three months with products ranging over $300, okay? All right, guys, I received my box late this month and um, I also received an email from Boxy Charm and let me read this email so you'll know, okay? It says, it has come to our attention that your September Boxy Luck did not include one of the items that you indicated as your preference. Okay, guys, I'm looking down at my pink folder because you know I write everything down. But anyhow, we had an option to pick products for, you know, our preference to come in the Boxy Lux. Some of us did not receive our preference. So this is what this email is about. All right, since we are always working to claim, I'm sorry, since we are always working to charm you with an amazing Boxy Charm member experience, we are sending you the item you indicated was your preference but is not in your September Boxy Lux, which is nice. I'm okay with that. You um, can't expect to receive your item by the end of next month. Okay, in the meantime, we are loading your account with 500 charms. That's roughly, I think, five bucks. Um, and it should reflect in your account in five to seven business days. Enjoy the item you did not indicate as your preference on us. We hope you love your September boxy looks as much as we do. I appreciate that, guys. But I don't even know which item I didn't receive yet. I just slit open the tabs, but I didn't open it up. Okay? So, also, you can see that, well, I did not complete my makeup. That's because I will be using the products in the box. All right? All right, guys. So, let's just jump right into the video. Okay, guys. Once you open the box, this is what you see. Well, I definitely see an item I did not, I did not want, but we'll get into it. Okay, so in, inside the box, you get the card, and the card is Boxy Charm with a theme, which is all access, and then on the back, you have all the products listed along with description of each one and the retail cost for each one, okay? So guys, I will be looking down at the card, so if you see me looking down, that's because, you know, I gotta tell you. <laughs> All right, so let's just start with the first product, which is the. Now I did want this, so I'm gl I'm glad to see it. Let's get it out the bubble wrap, which is the Valet, the Valet Voss um, Essential Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, this retails for twenty nine dollars. Okay, let's just take this one out. Okay, okay. Now, guys, I really like this. I like the colors in here. You see how pretty this is? I have a couple other of the uh, Violet Voss uh, palettes and I, I love them. So yes guys, this retail for $29. Just looking at the palette, I think I know what I might do. I don't know, we'll see. Next up we have the uh, Dr. Brent and oh, this is their sleeping mask. Um, let's see. It's the Hydrobiotic um, Recovery Sleeping Mask. 
Okay, and this retails for $52. And let's see. It's 1.7 ounces, but it looks smaller than that. And I have so many products from um, Dr. Brand. I love them all. Love them all. This, I definitely will be using. Okay, guys. Next up, we have Hank and Henry Brickery Black Eyeliner. So, with this, guys, I heard some, you know, people didn't really care for it. But uh, this retails for $20. I don't know. They were saying that it is hard to actually, for the first couple tries, to get it to actually show up. To show up. So, but I have so many liquid liners that I think this may go into the giveaway box. Not because of what they said. Because it's different for, you know, every person. But it's because I just have so many. Okay. Next up, which I'm so excited for, and I hope I have the right color, which is um, Stella Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And um, this retails for $22. And I'm blind as a bet. Um, I can't really tell. It looked like Angela. I hope that's what it is. <laughs> and let's see what it looks like. Ooh, yes, this is it's like a nude, guys. It's like a nude. Yes, this is actually the one that I wanted. I would have taken this or the pinker shade, but yeah, I can work with this today. Okay, next up we have the Tarte Park Avenue Princeless, Princeless, wait, get it out, get it out. The Tarte Park Avenue Princess Palette. Okay, now this I did want for some reason because I have so many of these, I don't even know why. But it retails for $45, okay? And this is what the packaging look like. And now let's just open it. Oh, this is so pretty, guys. Look. It's kind of heavy, too. So let's see. Ooh, it smells so vanilla, chocolatey. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, I am looking at some of the shades in here. I don't know if I can bronze. Maybe, let me show you guys. Maybe with the, um, maybe with this one here, which is called Crown, I might be able to. But I, I'm thinking with maybe the other shades I can use as a powder. Um, so yeah, it's not really dark enough to contour, but we're going to try crown today, but yeah, this is a very pretty, um, palette guys. I like it. All right. Next up we have glow recipe, pineapple seed, bright serum. And guys, this was one of the ones that I picked. OMG, I really wanted this. This retails for $49, okay? You know, my, uh, oh my gosh, my uh, routine now incorporate a lot of serum, and I'm always wanting to add to that. So, I can't wait to try this, guys. Let's see how this smells, though. Oops, got it on my nose. Uh-oh. <laughs> so, look, guys. And to me, it smells like pineapple. It really does. So. All right. Next up, we have the uh, Sutra Clipless Curling Iron with Cool Tip. Now, this was one of the ones that I didn't want. Was the uh, curling iron. And this retails for $65. Yeah. Uh, I just have so many... So, yeah, so I didn't choose this. So I'm debating, should I just put this in a giveaway as well? Like, just maybe give away certain things. Because what I was thinking about, guys, was having um, an unboxing live and on YouTube and then just give away certain things um, during the live unboxing. But yeah, it's nice, but I don't need another one. I don't, guys, I don't. And last from IGK is the Mistress Hydrating Balm 
and it's a leave-in conditioner and it retails for $29 guys $29 and it says that it won't weigh hair down so this is I have so much so many of these not from IGK but um, I think I probably put this in the giveaway box as well okay all right guys so we will get right into me trying to create the eye look and using some of the other products that I received in this month Foxy Lux all right guys let's get started all right guys the first thing I'm gonna do I you know I did my foundation I did my concealer and all that but I didn't set it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and set in with princess cut like I say the colors are not so dark let me get this right the colors are not so dark so I'm gonna try using princess cut it might work and it might not but we're gonna use what I received so let's try it It actually doesn't look so bad, guys. Um, it's not bad at all. All right, so we set that, and we'll be coming back to this um, Park Avenue palette to... Actually, let's just go ahead and do that, guys. We're going to go ahead and try to contour with uh, Crown, which is the darkest shade over here in the corner. So let's see how that works out. All right, guys, that wasn't so bad. I think I can get some use out of it. It, it looks all right, guys. All right, so now we're going to go into the Essentials um, palette. And I'm not really sure just yet, guys, what... Okay, so I think... I don't even know. Um, I don't have too many... Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go in with, for a transition color with terracotta. I think that's what it is. And it's like this orange right here. So we're going to use that as um, a transitional color. That's a pretty shade of orange, guys. So, so far I'm liking it. I think I'm gonna fall in love with this palette, okay? All right, guys, I am really debating. Do I wanna go like maybe a smoky eye or what? I don't wanna do green, which is they have an emerald color here, which is green. But so what I think, guys, um, they have this pink here. It's really light. Um, And then I'm looking at this plum berry here. Um, Okay, so we'll just go in with pink first. If it doesn't show up properly, I, I think I can, you know, kind of fix it up a little bit with the plum berry. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in on the lids halfway with uh, pink.
All right, guys, so it's, it's pretty. I, I'm hoping you guys can actually see it. You know, of course, I have to go in and kind of um, clean it up a little bit, but I like it so far. So let's just see what the rest of the eye going to look like. All right, guys, I think I'm going to go in. I was trying to decide between the black or cinnamon, but I think first in the corners here, I, in each corner, I got corners, <laughs> but in the corners of my eye, I think I'm going to use cinnamon. If that doesn't play out well, then I can always go in and darken it up just a little bit with the black. So let's just do that. All right, guys, I think um, maybe just a tad bit of black in the corners, but this is not looking bad either. Um, but keep in mind, I'm still, I still have to go in and do just a little bit of cleanup, but it's not really bad, but I think maybe just maybe a tad of black. I don't, I don't know. We're, we're going to decide after I highlight, but uh, first let me just finish up with the eye. All right, guys, before I decide anything with you know, darkening up the corners. We're gonna go in and highlight the brow bone down with sand. And if sand is not light enough, then I'll go right next door to cream. Alright guys, so, so far I'm just looking at it. I don't think I should go in with the black. So, what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner and put my lashes on and the girl will be right back. Okay, I'm back guys. <laughs> Alright guys, so... I don't have nothing that I can use for a blush, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance blush, if I can pick the darn thing up. Okay, see? That's what comes with having long nails. It's just sliding all across the table. Okay, so I'm going to go in with a little of uh, Brick House. Alright guys, I have been looking in the Essential Palette and I really don't have anything to highlight with. Um, I can try cream, but I'm a little bit afraid to, to try cream. So what I'm going to do is since I really don't have anything to highlight with, I'm just going to go in with my Milani and um, highlight with this. All right, guys, next up, I'm going to go into the lippy, and hopefully this works out. I might have to line, but we'll see. All right, guys, I decided to go in with a pure lip liner and berry. Let's see how that looks. Alright guys, it needs some lip gloss, so we're going to go in and put some of this, which is the Pure Berry Lip Gloss.
All right, guys. Next up, I'm gonna go in and add some plumberry on my lower lash line, and then I'm gonna go in the inner corners. I guess I'm just gonna put a little bit more pink because that's. Wait, you know what? I think I'm gonna go in the inner corners with cream. That's gonna do cream in the inner corners, and then I'm gonna blow it out with uh, the plumberry. All right, guys, and finally, I'm going to go in and set with my Smashbox Primer Water. All right, guys, overall, I love my September Boxy Lux. I really do. Although I didn't receive one of my preference, that's okay. They're going to send it next month, plus they gave me 500 charms. You know, girl can always use that, and I get to keep what they did send. Hey, I can't, can't lose. Win-win for me. All right. So, the essential palette, I love, guys. I had minimum, 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 minimum fallout. I mean, just the fallout was very minimal. And it's pigmented. I love the colors in this palette here. I would definitely be using this a lot. Okay? Now, as far as the um, Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette, you know, guys, I thought at first that I would not be able to use it. But I can use some of the shades in it actually for powders. And contouring came out pretty good too with the darkest shade. I didn't think that was going to show up. So I'm glad that I did receive this. The only thing that I was not happy with because I did not want it was the curling iron. They say curling iron, but it's a wand to me. But, you know, I will most likely give it away. Either to a family member or just give it in a giveaway because the girl has too many of her own all right so overall guys the box is super super great i love 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 boxy charm so if you are interested in a subscription just click on that link down below and it will take you to the boxy charm website okay all right guys i also want to apologize again for uploading it so late um they just sent it out to me late Okay. Also, guys, I will have a video coming up right up again tomorrow. That is the video about the giveaway. They have all the details in there for you. But anyway, I've been under the weather. And then my daughter, Chastity, the one that was here before, came back on business. But she fell sick, so she's in the hospital here. So I've been, you know, dealing with that as well. All right. All right, guys. If you have not subscribed... What's up? What you waiting on? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button. It will be greatly appreciated. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.